Hello all and welcome to another video. So after what seemed like a monster drive, should be in four hours, ended up being five. Um, I'm at a location today called uh, Lady Bower Reservoir. I believe is in the Derbyshire area, Peak District, possibly. Done 100% quote me on that. It seems like I say this all the time, but I've wanted to come here for a while. I'm in the area, so I thought, why not? I have a little rest and then I've got to drive to my um, parking spot for the night to have a little sleep. Just look at the colours behind me. Stunning time of year. I think I've probably picked the best time of year to come up here. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So I'll do the Lady Bower one first because I didn't realise how far the uh, Dar Went one was. And the Dar Went one is the one that's in Forza Horizon 2. It's world famous anyway, but that's what I know it from and that's why I wanted to come here because I was a big, big fan of that, uh, that game. It's just nice to be out and walking after such a long trek, you know? And as you can see, it is stunning. I've only got maybe about two hours of sunlight there. And the views around you are just absolutely gorgeous. So I've just arrived at one of what they call the plug holes. As you can see, the water's quite far down there. Eh? It sort of reminds me of if you're a long time subscriber, uh, Pont Stick Reservoir, which is local to me. There's one across there. Now, I have got my drone, but I think it's a case of, you know, I like to fly them around here. I may be wrong, but considering it's a Thursday as well, it's quite busy to be fair, but it would be, I suppose, everybody's out to work now. Well, I say everybody, is only 10 past three. The views are just stunning from you. I'm sure I drove down this bit on Forza Horizon. Or maybe it was at uh, day one or wherever I said, just look at the colours or that's stunning. Let me just put the ISO down and put my F stop down. And then maybe just look at that. Gorgeous. What a stunning time of year. So yeah, so yeah, as Dar went, I probably did drive down here on Forza at some point though. Me going on about photos, huh? What a stunning day though. I'm gonna actually try and get some photos with that in the background now. It took so long, but it was so worth it. And this week has just been crazy busy, to be honest. But just working towards the dream, guys. That's all I'm doing, working towards the dream. And as you can see, that is the second plug hole. Now it does say about no drones, so I'm not going to bother flying. After that drive, I can't really be bothered anyway. I can't wait to go to Darwin as well. So yeah, why have I travelled 200 miles, five hours, to just see a reservoir? Like I said, there's more now to me getting out, exploring, showing you guys interesting places. Like, well, I find interesting. And also, with it being on Forza, it was another big one for me. I would have really have loved to have brought the Beetle, but yeah, if it took five hours in my van because of other things, it would have took even longer in the Beetle. So I dread to think. And there is some information about the plug also. Let's have a look. The reservoir design is quite unusual with the bell mouth overflows which are 24 metres in diameter and take water through the tail bay to join the river Derwent. That's where we're going next. And blah blah blah. It's 
quite interesting. So I don't think I'm going to be walking really far past this reservoir now. Because it does go on for quite a while. But it is very cool to see. Some absolutely stunning views here today as well. They are massive in there and as you can see, the water would go up there, up to the, the top. Guaranteed if we were in Wales it would be because they don't look like they've had a lot of water as of recently because I'm assuming all of this would be full as well, so that's crazy. Wales just has a silly amount of rain all compared to anywhere else in the country. You can see right in, well, you can near enough see right into it by here. Yeah, stunning. Right, so I've walked quite a bit up. There's not much up there, so I'm just going to head back to the van and then we're going to go to up the Deer Went Reservoir and go and see some Forza 2 Horizon stuff. I can't wait for this. I'm a big kid, I remember there's this one bit and I drove my people over the reservoir and <laughs> look at me just talking and rubbish. i got to be honest, when autumn's I guess, I don't mind it, but when it just constantly rains in Wales, that's when I don't like it, but the colours up there are, are stunning. This just orange leaves and I think if we come any later, I don't think it would uh, would have been so good, but another place ticked off a list. Let me know what you think down below if you're still watching so far. Right, so I've paid for the car park again. If you ask me, that's a bit of a uh, con that you're in the same area, but you've got to pay for the set of car parks. All owned by the same company, by the way. But I'm just off down the Darwent, Daywent Reservoir now. Um, there is a bit of a narrow path, so I'm going to wait for the people to get past. And yeah, that's the update. Can't wait to get down to you now. It's so quiet as well, but I think when the sun go down is four, well it's five past four now as of recording and the sun goes down at ten to six and then my park up for the night is about an hour and 35 minutes I might have a look on my maps and see if I've got any pub stop overs because I really fancy some really nice grub to be honest and if I can do that I can just park in a pub car park then which will be cool to do if I'm perfectly honest, I think I could have spent the day around you. Just look how stunning the forestry is, etc., around this place. And if I wasn't so lazy and, well, time's going short, I would have walked all of this. But I'm glad I left when I did, because if I left any later, then who knows what time I would have got here. Nearly at the point I want to see. We're nearly there. Oh, here we go, guys. I see it. Oh, I could have parked up there. Yeah. I'm going to be walking down here as well now. It's a shame because it's normally running with water, but they haven't had much rain, have they? Oh, I'm gutted. I didn't think I'd be able to park up here, if I'm honest. Oh well, it is what it is. I might bring a car up there, yeah. or the van I should say. Ah, oh, this is so cool, so we can walk down that really right. So, <laughs> on Forza Horizon, I walked across that. I walked 
drove across it because you can't walk in for the horizon. I wonder how many people who are sad enough like me have come just to see this because of Forza Horizon. Ah, oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is sick. Oh man, this is just so cool. So, so cool. That is a surreal feeling. Have small goals, tick them off, smash them. That's why I'm gonna say inspiration always. Ah, oh, yeah, this is cool. This is damn cool. Get it? Damn cool. Boom, boom. Yeah, oh wow, I love this. Right, so I'm just heading down the walker's path. This is going to be the last bit, I think, before I uh, try and get my part up. I try to keep this as steady as I can, but oh wow, this is cool. Oh, is that cool? Oh. Now that was low. I got my wide angle on, my zoom lens would have been cool to get on. Look at it, man. Wow. Like I said, I must just look like an idiot, because all I'm saying is wow, and I had my really funny pun, which was damn. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, have a walk down there. Like I said, I've seen people when they've come, when it's like been hammering down with rain, and all of this, obviously, water comes right the way down, yeah? I would have thought, with the rain we recently had, and apparently Storm Ashley coming in, we would have had some, but obviously not. Only an excuse to come back up here, I suppose. Just walking down to the uh, lower level of the dam now. Oh, I'm so glad I'd done this. I was feeling a bit demotivated, tired from obviously the adventures I've been on all week. This time last week I was getting excited to go to London. Um, Tuesday then I went to Devon with Jordan. I'm not sure when those videos are going to be dropping but we hit three locations then. And obviously I got this today and tomorrow. Home tomorrow night, Saturday I'm back out with Jordan Lee doing some filming. And then Sunday, chill, and then I'm back in work. But what an amazing week. I feel like I've achieved so much so far. So this path I'm currently on is heading towards the visitor center that I just passed and my van. But then um, I seen the path to obviously walk sort of below the reservoir then. is towards there. Getting plenty of steps in today. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an amazing um, photo opportunity now. Oh, wow. Here we are, folks. Here's the lower path. I am sort of gutted about the water coming down because I think that would have made a phenomenal amount of difference. But, you know my saying, it is what it is. Right, let's have a look and see what this is then. So this is some history of the dam. This is so, so cool. I just got to get some phone pictures and send them to Lee. Shout out to him, Outpost 51, because he played Forza Horizon as much as I did and he'll love this location. The sheer size of the actual structure is incredible, to be honest. It's hard to show the point of view from the camera of actually how big 
it actually is. And again, just appreciating autumn colours. I mean, I probably could have got away with flying the drone, but if I'm honest, I'm okay with not having to fly it. I haven't tried it yet. It's still uh, one that I got given to me. So I have still got to try it out. I bought some propellers for it. Maybe I'll try it out tomorrow because there's a few places I want to uh, try it out tomorrow. No swimming or paddling. What? Well, I would have thought that would have been a given, but I'll see people. So we were just up there. They couldn't have had much rain at all. Man, oh really? So I walked right the way across and here we are. I don't think I'm going to be bothering walking up there because I would just be making a longer walk for myself if I'm honest. It actually says the place where it supplies the water to as well, so it supplies it to Leicestershire, Derby, uh, Nottingham and Sheffield. I like the little taps as well, that's cool. For a stunning uh, place, I highly recommend visiting if you're in the area, because I think you could spend a day alone here just hiking and stuff, if I'm honest. Kind of reminds me of Elam Valley. So I'm just heading back to the van now because we're starting to lose sunlight. Um, so I'm probably going to have a look on the map for a pub and get some food and hopefully be able to um, camp in there for the night. Because like I said, I have a map and it's full of like pub stop over pub stopovers and stuff um, so I'm hoping now I can walk to this gate and maybe walk around back onto the path down past the visitor centre and on I can't get over quiet how quiet it is but I bet during the summer months at this time it's uh, probably busy it's probably very busy such a pretty place Right, so I'm just heading back to a van after what was an incredible hour or so, to be honest. To be able to see Lady Bower, finally. And then Derwent Reservoir, that was class. Like, it's put an amazing smile on my face. What a day, a bit of a drama to start off with, but oh well. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing for more travel related stuff like this sick locations that you can visit yourself sorry about my phone um if all my subscribers could please smash that like button leave a comment down below share the video i appreciate the love i appreciate you all and i will see you all in the next video peace